The CIA's operation to recruit Russians dissatisfied with Putin's regime through social networks, messengers and everything is going well. US foreign intelligence will expand its efforts to other authoritarian regimes including China, Iran and North Korea. Reuters reports this, citing a CIA representative. According to the source, the efforts of American intelligence on this front in the Russian Federation have been successful, and the CIA is open to cooperation with people living in other countries with authoritarian regimes. Last year, the CIA created a Telegram channel detailing how to securely contact American intelligence. At first, the instructions were in English and Russian. Now, intelligence accounts on various social media have published similar instructions in Chinese, Farsi and Korean. Thus, written instructions in Chinese recommend contacting the CIA through its official website using a reliable VPN or the Tor network. The need for intelligence is growing as Beijing steps up cooperation with Moscow and Tehran. The US intelligence community considers these authoritarian regimes hard targets because their governments are difficult to penetrate. In Iran, American intelligence is interested in its nuclear program, growing ties with the Kremlin and support for proxies in the region. In the DPRK, the CIA's gaze is also focused on the nuclear program. In addition, the intelligence goal is to obtain information about the supply of North Korean weapons to the Russian Federation, which are used by the Kremlin in its war against Ukraine. The agency notes that the Russian embassy and the Iranian mission to the UN did not respond to journalists' requests to comment on the described CIA activities. Earlier, CNN stated that American intelligence is primarily interested in those Russians who may know about the Kremlin's plans regarding one state or another. Former CIA officer and author of the book Moscow X, David McCloskey, said that the intelligence services need Russians who know about the Kremlin's real plans in relation to one state or another. The recruitment of Russians by US intelligence agencies is not some kind of state secret. Since 2022, more than one CIA video in Russian has been available on the internet, in which Washington calls on dissatisfied Russian citizens to cooperate with the USA. This is especially true for those who have access to important information. The video contains step-by-step -step instructions on how a potential US agent could contact US intelligence agencies via encrypted dark web communications. Greece sent a military transport plane to Beirut Thursday to evacuate Greek and Cypriot nationals who wanted to leave Lebanon as hostilities between Israel and Hezbollah escalate. The C-130, carrying 38 Cypriots and 22 Greeks, landed in Larnaca in Cyprus midday Thursday, before heading to a military airfield near Athens later in the day. Greece's foreign ministry has set up hotlines for its citizens living in Lebanon to call if they require assistance in leaving the country.
Kursor. 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 Kursor.